It's kind of crazy. I was actually doing my sports medicine training and I'd recently bought an Xbox video game system and I was playing around with it and doing a game where you had to move around and the character was controlled by your movements. And I immediately thought, wait, could we use this for medical research? It's been about three or four years now and we've kind of finally to a point where we have software that we're able to go out to high schools and to gyms and actually to test high school male and female athletes and look at the way that they jump and land. This is Dr. Aaron Gray, a sports medicine doctor at the University of Missouri. He's trying to revolutionize the way athletes detect their risk for devastating knee injuries, all by using Microsoft Connect's motion sensor technology. All right, I'm open, I'm open, come on, come on, get it, got it, you can't stop me, get up, come on, get up, you can't stop me. It's portable, it's lightweight, and it doesn't take any markers. And so that way you can put people through and you can test them very rapidly. So we're trying to bring um, expensive lab-based tests to the masses. So we want to make things that have been proven in the lab through previous medical research and make those accessible to any um, athlete anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world. Right now, Gray's research focuses on female high school athletes, especially those playing soccer and basketball. Female athletes are four to six times more likely to tear their ACLs compared compared to male athletes in the same sport. A number of factors from knees caving in to favoring one knee over the other to even hormones can put female athletes at a higher risk. Some studies have shown that people that tear their ACL, um, they're at much higher chance of uh, arthritis even like 10 to 15 years later. And so what we don't want to see is women who are 25 or 30 years old who are starting to have arthritis, um, and that's all because that they've torn their ACL. ACL injuries can be devastating and sometimes career altering. Athletes usually aren't sports ready until at least six months after surgery. And with the estimated cost of surgery plus rehab reaching $25,000 in some cases, you can see a torn ACL requires a lot of time and money. And current technology flagging these risk factors is expensive, roughly $125,000 to $150,000. A brand new Microsoft Connect can be purchased for just $100. So I have a two-year-old daughter, and so I'm hoping in 10 years that I can um, test her and be able to show her a prevention program that'll help prevent her from carrying her ACL. For Newsy, I'm at Moreno.